Go on ahead, ben. What's up, agents, and welcome back to another division build video. Today, we're going to go over a hybrid build. Yes, it was really hard to get the words out, but it's a hybrid build given to me by Cruson over on Twitch. Yes, I am his favorite streamer. And I put it together and I couldn't quite believe it. It's uh, it, There's so many different ways you can run this and I've had so much fun playing with it. It fits in in almost any scenario. It's good at everything, not amazing at one thing. It's just kind of good at everything. Anyone could build this. You've got a couple of different ways you can run it and I'll go through that as we go through the gear as well. There's some footage at the end as well of me uh, running with it having such a having a good time you know no stress just really good just before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when i upload more division videos even better come on over to twitch and hit follow i could be streaming live right now and if you need a community discord there's never been a better time to join if you need some help with the division you'll find the link down below in the description and with all that said Let's have a look at the build itself. So we'll start up the specialization. We're going to go with technician. And that's because we want the skill tier. We want the skill damage. And we want the assault rifle damage as well. Anything else is just a bonus in here. 15% uh, bonus armor while aiming a skill. I mean, mm, all just a bit of a bonus. 12% extra damage to drones and proxies. You can't go wrong. Uh, but they're the three main things that you want. Uh, if you've got the capacitor, that's going to be the gun that you want to use. I did try using a police M4 with flatline or the test subject and things like that. And the capacitor just puts out more damage. Now, what we'll do here, you can see I'm on a heroic range. I'm just give you a quick peek at it before we go through all the gear. Just to show you. So you also get a huge choice of skills that you want to run as well. So there you go. There's me. You can see this is a tier six as well, and it, you know. And then I'm going to throw some headshot crits in here and get the stacks up. And you can see that's doing loads and loads and loads of damage. We're not getting any, any numbers. Have I turned them off? Combat in for damage numbers. There we go. So you can see 121k there, and then me, I'm doing 520 crits to the head as well. A lot of damage and a lot of and a tier 6 skill, and don't forget you can use any other skills with it as well. Alright, so let's take a look at it, and let's just talk through it. So okay, so first thing we need to look at here is why does this work so well? Well, skills wise, we get one skill tier here from the specialisation. We then get one from the mentor, making two, three with the chest piece, four with the gloves, five with the holster, but then with the Brazos holster and using another piece as well, we get another one, which gives us a total of six skill tiers. But then we've also managed to squeeze in a red one here and a red one here and a red one here, making for four. But because it's Picaros, we get 15% weapon damage down here, making it like we've got four red cores as well six yellow cores four red cores so far and then we got one blue just to boot now different ways of running this you could actually go full rainbow rather than running the uh the, these down here like i have you could perhaps drop a yellow and throw in a blue and run two blues uh you could drop this red and throw in a blue and run two blues you could run three blues and then the five yellows uh, and then obviously still have access to these two reds as well. Just however you like. When it comes to the Brazos Picaro's holster, I've opted for critical hit damage. You could opt for skill damage there as well. Because like an all red build, the aim for this is to get as close to 60% crit chance. Get as much skill damage in as you can. And then some critical hit damage as well. So a couple of options there for you as well. And it gets pretty tight with the crit chance. You've got to have some drops. Combined with mods, you've got to get some drops that actually get crit chance on the gear. 
but we'll run through that now as we speak so you can see here my capacitors level 16 on expertise i am going to push that all the way up to 21 uh, it's just worth it 135k really good and obviously these are all set you've seen them a million times before but the reason why the six yellows are important is because we get 7.5 percent weapon damage for every yellow that we have along with the skill damage up to 40 stacks as well just makes this gun a no-brainer i tried the test subject it's just not as good i did because obviously we've got the technician i just went m4 with flatline and the link laser pointer again it just didn't hit as hard uh, this build does lean to using the capacitor definitely pick yourself one up and use that as your main gun the card's just in there just because it has in sync in there i don't actually use it it just looks good that's, that's kind of all that's there for so memento backpack first of all so now the picaro's 15 percent weapon damage does not count as a red core in this scenario so it will only count as if we've got three one blue and six yellows though although it does say four there it does count as six yellows for the skill efficiency so just make sure you are aware of that so memento once you get them stacks going you're going to be hitting for a lot of damage and obviously in the range i had no stacks no bonus anything from the memento backpack but i've got a critical hit chance mod in here the mask so we got full brand set bonuses here we've got skill health skill damage and skill efficiency weapon damage this is pretty tricky to farm for right i'm not gonna lie it's a good build but it's not the easiest because you've got to get this mask with skill damage and crit hit chance is going to be your optimal if your other ones get chance and this one gets damage not the end of the world uh, but that's definitely where you want to kind of base that skill damage crit chance when you're farming them in countdown you can craft these as well i have crafted a couple of them and got lucky and just optimized but it does depend on how many materials that you have if you get the two attributes right then you can roll the core attribute to weapon damage giving you that red crit hit chance in the mod slot then with the gloves same again skill damage crit chance and then i opted with skill tier for this one so that was a nice and easy piece to farm chest piece is a little bit harder to farm I really wanted to go with glass cannon because it benefits skills and your damage. You could run obliterate though or, or something else. Spotter if you wanted to. All very plausible. Um, but you would then have to run a pulse. So glass cannon is definitely the best one to go to. Your skills take all the flak anyway. You've got, I've got a tier 6 shield as well. So And you could use disrupt. You could use the band. You, you, know, you could use your shield decoys you've got some you know turrets drones you've got so you can use anything any of these skills that you want just to take the heat off you so glass cannon is particularly safe with this build so you can see there we're going to do 25 percent amplified damage i'm going to take 50 percent skill damage crit damage crit chance here couldn't get a good roll but i would rather be able to change the talent and keep these maximized so that's why i went that way so that's the empress taking care of so then look at the knees. So I've got some Brazos knees here. We want the two-piece bonus for skill haste and the skill tier. Again, pretty difficult to get, but get crit chance and skill damage and then roll the core attribute to red, blue, or whatever you like. Obviously, you could roll the gloves here to red and you could have the knees as yellow. Just depending on how lucky you get with gear drops, you can by all means swap all these things around. You're still going to get the same result. And then at the end, like I said, the Picaro's holster, we talked about this a little bit before. We get 15% weapon damage. I want to change the core attribute to a yellow. You could change it to a blue though if you wanted to. That's up to you. Uh, and then this one is really a matter of your own choice. Crit hit damage if you want to hit harder with your gun or skill damage if you want your skill to hit a little bit harder. In all honesty, I didn't get one with skill damage, so I've not been able to try that out. So critical hit damage was good enough for me and I've just kind of stuck with it. Skills wise, we did talk about these yeah, before as well. I've gone with the drone. It's just so good at taking aggro. The du huge duration, you know, at tier six. It has all the health in the world, a lot of damage. I have expertise the hell out of mine as well. So, you know, really, really good. Another option, again, I've done the same with this. I've got level 20 here with the turret, uh, but you could run the drone and the turret. I like having my shield though, and I've also got that level 20. So, these are all skills i definitely would recommend leveling up your shield and your drone probably the top two 
could come in really handy for New York runs as well if you're starting a new character. Let's take a look at the stats. You can see him at 56% critical hit chance, 99% critical hit damage, 75% headshot damage, 12% armor damage, 10% health damage, 1.8 second reload time with the 20% reload bonus and a bunch of other bonuses that you generally just get from gear anyway. And that's going to be it for the build. Enjoy the gameplay footage at the end. The footage, actually, the damage numbers on my gun will look a little bit lower. I did record that when I was only level 10 on my capacitor. I'm obviously now level 16. So, you know, it's, it looks good on the footage anyway. That's why I've not re-recorded it. Uh, it. It looks really good. It runs really well. Have a blast with it. If you are going to run it, let me know what you've done down below, which cause you've gone with, how you've run it. I definitely would be interested in it. And what do you think about the ninja bike? Is that going to make build, this build even better? You know, we could put, if the ninja bike goes in here, you know, we're going to get a whole more bunch of options. We get magazine size. We could potentially drop uh, one of these pieces and throw in a wyvern perhaps and get the wyvern bonus as well. You know, so that, that could be super pretty cool. I think I've got a wyvern holster in here, you know, would give us 10% skill damage and 10% status effects which wouldn't really help us uh, but you know we could think about doing things like that as well maybe make it even better let me know what you think though is a ninja bike going to be better who knows thank you for watching agents don't forget to come over to twitch and say hi i could be streaming live right now hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up i would really really appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next one thanks for watching agents goodbye Secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sun's will be a direct threat to the campus. Quiet. Listen. Stop. hostiles in the memorial compound they're moving south there's a gate between you it looks closed from here agent you'll need to find a way to open that gate
All clear. I repeat, the compound is all clear. No, that can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. since I've turned the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. Careful with those rounds! You wanna kill everybody in here? You hear that? Fuck well, this noise. I'm not dying to help with the ammo pound. DC-62. Detected. Heads up. Isaac just ID'd those shells as chemical weapons. We can't afford to let the True Sons escape with those. You gotta find a way to close up that tunnel. According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think closing the tunnel was smart? Fuck you! You flood yourself in with us! I'll make sure you rot down here! Oh. Uh, 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 
Good work. Go on ahead back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today. <laughs>